In this video, we're going to see how you can consume a REST API with AJAX and JavaScript. If you scroll to the bottom in this page, a JSON placeholder, you will find that this is a free service to test and learn about a REST API. So if you scroll a little, you can see that we have these resources at the bottom. So for example, you can open these albums and it's going to print some albums right here. Uh, some photos it's going to be a response is going to be a, a json response but you can access uh, the values title url and the thumbnail url something like that and okay, we're going to close this and this is going to return 5000 items so it's going to be really big response we have also uh, some to do's you can see that we have uh, something different and by the way uh, this is looking like this maybe you have a different uh, view because here i added this extension called json view i really recommend that you install this it's going to format the json responses a lot better uh, instead of the instead of the basic uh, view that you will find in any browser so we're going to close this and finally you have also users so this is going to print some users so let's create an example using this I'm going to open this JSON API. So we're going to open this into the, into the editor. You will find this folder in your course materials. It's called JSON API. And it's going to be the project that we're going to use. It's going to be something really, really simple. Again, it's going to be, used, be using a framework called Skeleton. And you can see that here only have this button that says load post. And it, this is an href. It contains this ID called load. And we also have this div with ID result. If you open the app.js, this is going to be empty. Here is where we are going to work in this video. And finally, uh, one thing to notice here is, for example, if you open this post, this is going to be a JSON response. Doing this kind of a stop uh, stuff, consuming REST APIs is going to be really common when developing for, with JavaScript. So this is something that any JavaScript developer should know. That's why uh, we have this into this course. And by the way, also the projects from the rest of the course are going to be using REST APIs. So we're going to uh, write a selector. We have document dot query selector and we're going to select the button with ID load. Then we're going to attach an event listener. It's going to be click. And we're going to call this function load post. Then we're going to write this function load post. And this is going to be using AJAX and we need to perform the, form, the four different steps. So first we're going to create the object. And it's going to be a variable const xhr equals to new xml http request. Then we're going to open the connection. Open the connection is going to use this variable and the method called open. First parameter is going to be get. It's going to be a get request. Second parameter is going to be the URL that we have here. So you can, uh, for example, once we finish this example, you can test the other resources that you will find in JSON placeholder. We're going to use post for this example. And we're going to make this asynchronous. And then we're going to execute the function. And we're going to use xhr load is going to be equals to a function then we're going to check for the status if this status is equals to 200 we're going to execute the code you can see that this is an json response so this is going to come as an string and we need to convert this into a javascript object so we're going to create a variable response and it's going to be equals to json.parse and we're going to pass this dot and the response is going to come as response text then we can console log the response just to test that everything is working and finally you need to send the request and at xhr send and save this open the project and open also the console and we're going to open console click here and you can see we have an array with 100 objects. You can see we have at the bottom length 100. You can see here in the response 
JSON placeholder, it says it will return 100 items. So we have something like this. So in order to work with this, we're gonna, for example, I'm gonna expand this. I want to print the body and also the title. So you can see this is an array, so we're gonna use for each. So we're gonna remove this, print the contents, and it's going to be let output equals to nothing. And then we're gonna start uh, looping through this array. Response dot for each, this is going to execute a function and it's going to be a post. So from here we're gonna uh, concatenate this. So we're gonna concatenate this output plus equals template or string literals. And we're gonna add an h3, close the h3. And right here I'm going to create the dollar sign, curly braces, post. And we want to print the title and the body. So it's going to be dot title. And let's add an, a paragraph. Second one is going to be post that body. Finally, we need to insert this into the HTML. So we're going to use document dot query selector. And we're going to use result inner HTML equals to the output. So this is going to print all the posts. 100 posts is going to print the body and the content. So click here and now you can see we have 100 posts from this REST API. So consuming REST APIs is going to be really common when you are a JavaScript developer. And this is a really simple REST APIs. There are some others that are more advanced where you can send some arguments into the URL. We're gonna see an example of one of these REST APIs in the next video where we are going to develop a complete project using a REST API.